Well, hello world and welcome to Real Cooking at Home. My name is Mark and tonight I am going to be making a great, great, great side dish for you. You're taking a simple potato, just like this, a new potato, and we're going to transform this into something that you're not going to believe with just a few simple ingredients. What I want y'all to do is, if you hadn't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I've got a lot of stuff planned for you uh, coming up in the future. And... Right now, we're going to get started with ingredients, so let me show you what you're going to need. Some bacon, some Montreal steak season, a few new potatoes, some olive oil, and something flat to mash the potatoes with once we boil them. So this is a, almost like a twice-cooked potato because we're going to boil it first, and then we're going to put it in the oven. So what I've got here is a pot of cold water. You want your water to be good and salty so that the potatoes can absorb that flavor. Because if your water don't taste like anything, your potatoes is not going to taste like anything. So, that's cold water. I'm going to bring it up to high temperature just to get it boiling. And I'm going to throw in my potatoes. So there those go. Now I'm going to boil those until they are fork tender. And once they're fork tender, we'll come back and we'll show you what's going on with them. Okay, now we're back and I've got my potatoes. They're fork tender, and what I've got here is a sheet tray, and I've lined it with foil, and then on that foil, I've drizzled it with a little bit of olive oil. So what I'm going to do now is I've got two, four, six, seven potatoes, and I'm going to take a little bit of this seasoned salt and make seven little piles. One. There we go. Okay, now I've seasoned the pan. I've seasoned tenfold, y'all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each potato and put it right on top of that seasoning. This way, the bottom is seasoned. And now I'm going to take my, my flat thing, and I'm just going to give these a mash until they form like a little pancake. Just give them a little mash, just like that. Sure they don't stick on you. A little bit of pressure. If it gets stuck, just kind of wipe it off. Now from here, I'm going to drizzle the top with a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm going to take my Montreal steak. Season up the top of them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bacon. And I'm going to cut it. This is my kitchen shears, y'all. It's just a little pair of scissors that I've kind of made into kitchen shears. I'm going to take a piece of bacon. And I'm going to lay it over the top. Just like this. Now I've got my oven preheated to 425 degrees. And we're going to put these in 425 for about 20 minutes. That's going to make the bottom of them very crispy. Think of the best potato chip you've ever had in your life. Multiply it times 100. And that's what this recipe is going to give you. Okay, our potatoes are out of the oven. I'm about to taste. Y'all, you've got to treat yourself to this. I'm going to take a little bit right here. Do it while it's hot. Now, if I was really, really bad and really didn't care about cholesterol and stuff like that, I'd put a little pat of butter on. And you know some sour cream would be good on here. It's hot. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. The bottom is so crispy. That bacon fat that runs down in that potato is so good. Y'all, these are absolutely spectacular. You've got to serve them hot. They really don't reheat that well. So for leftovers, I mean, you can reheat them. They'll still be delicious, but... They might need a little more help like with some sour cream, some butter, some hot sauce. Mmm, some Frank's Red Hot. That would be awesome. 
But until next time, y'all get in the kitchen. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> so good.